This second video in your AutoCAD introductory series will show you how to open and toggle between open drawings and how to access the template file that will be used throughout this textbook. First we can open a drawing by either going to the application menu and clicking open. We can also see recently opened documents default listed here. Otherwise we can click open on the quick access toolbar. We'll go ahead and do that as that's the quicker option. For this example I'm going to go ahead and open the floor plan that is created in my residential textbook. But in this particular case any drawing will, you, will do as far as learning how to open a drawing. So we can see we have a residential first floor plan here. The name of the drawing that we're in is listed on the application title bar flr1.dwg. If we spin the wheel on our mouse it allows us to zoom in closer to the drawing. If we spin it the other direction it zooms out. The unique thing about this compared to some other programs is that wherever your cursor is when you zoom in that area stays visible on the screen. You can see the car in the garage in the lower left will ultimately go off the screen. So if we wanted to actually zoom in on the car we'd move our cursor over the top of it and then spin our wheel in and then we can see the upper right area that we were looking at has now uh, scrolled off the screen. So if we hold down the wheel button we can move around. This is called panning. This is similar to what you might do in another program using the scroll bars. If we click the application menu now that we've opened this drawing we can also view the various open drawings in a list. So when I started this video I had one drawing open, the default drawing, and then FLR1. So I can switch between these drawings here I can also just simply press control tab on the keyboard and you'll notice when I do that the on the uh, application title bar the current drawing name listed there changes. If we double click on the wheel button on our mouse that does a zoom extents. So a lot of the tools that you have over here can be done directly from your mouse like zoom extents and then being able to zoom in and out. After you've made changes to your drawing you can save it by selecting the save icon on the quick access toolbar. Whenever you click on this if it's the first time you've saved a drawing that you've just started you will want to specify a name and location for that drawing. It's important that you keep track of where you're saving these drawings so that you can back them up on a flash drive or an external hard drive. When you want to create a new drawing you can click on the application menu and select new. Notice how this also has a split button so the flyout gives you access to one extra option but if you just want to create a new drawing you can just click on this main part of the split button and then it automatically brings you to AutoCAD's template file folder location. As you can see here it's a rather convoluted location so it's a good thing you don't have to browse there every time. Templates are files that have various settings preset depending on the type of work that an individual does. So you can see there might be um, manufacturing, architectural, civil drawings. The template that you're going to use for this book is going to be in the sheet sets folder and it's called Architectural Imperial. This will have dimensions set to feet and inches and a few other settings that we won't have to change every time we start a new drawing. So we click on that and select open and that automatically brings us to this Arch D layout view. We're going to click on model space 
and this is where you'd start doing your drawing. Now in the default install, the background will be black, and this background was changed white here for the screen captures in the book, so uh, your screen will be black. So this concludes the second video, Getting Started in AutoCAD 2012.